Hey, hello, hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech Grantha. So uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, the very most uh, popular and uh, most uh, requested video uh, to everyone. <coughs> like uh, most, and that is a common uh, questions on the interviewer side also. Like, what are the challenges you faced on your scripting side? So. what are the main common answers we can provide i am just going to discuss uh, that so i am just making that video on the two part part 1 we will discuss the uh, top 3 uh, scripting challenges then the next part 2 we will discuss another remaining two uh, scripting challenges okay so before i will proceed my uh, video if anyone uh, miss the sessions of uh, earlier so please just go and watch the videos and if uh, any want uh, any of new topic suggestions please also comment on the comment box i will try to uh, uh, like cover that topics also as soon as possible so uh, see those are the some uh, five common scripting challenge which uh, anyone can uh, tell so the first thing is like how to convert the load runner variable into the c integer and uh, the second challenge is like how can we send the random values on our request how can we split the tokens and how can we read the data from the files and into the write down into the text file and the last is if suppose your uh, dynamic values also changing like your left and right boundaries itself the change so how can we uh, uh, face that problem and how can we provide the proper solution so first we are going to cover the first three scenarios uh, scripting challenge then later we will see about the remaining uh, challenges there let's see <coughs> so the first challenge is like first script scripting challenge how to convert a load and a variable to the string integer okay so otherwise on the second uh, way if i will tell so Uh, you can also tell otherwise interview can also ask like how can you find out the error handling concept how you can uh, like ensure how can you proceed your scripting for the error handling concept so that is also the similar uh, thing so how can we go the solution so uh, let's discuss so what i did there first of all uh, for example there is a one page scheme there if suppose that is our ui and there welcome is mentioned okay so might be it will be one time might be it can be four times five times there is a multiple times a welcome came so what uh, i just did there i captured that welcome as a text so what uh, we are using the function webrec find and the text is equal to welcome okay and then what the next step we are going to do we are using the one function is save count so what it will do the save count save count value will save the welcome count parameter how many times the welcome came on your page okay then next what i did that is our request and then the further we used another uh, uh, concept so what we did there is a one welcome count where the all welcome will save there what we are doing first because that is our string and string directly we can't pass on our load runner so we need to first evaluate that string so what we did for the welcome count we evaluated that script and after evaluation that string we are going to convert into the integer so for the conversion we are using here the function is atoi which is going to convert string into the integer then we put the condition if our welcome count value is greater than 0 then our transaction should be go as a pass otherwise it should go and the fail okay so that's the way we can convert our load and variable into the c integer yeah you can also tell that is the concept is using for the error handling also okay that is the one scripting challenge now the next scripting challenge is if suppose there is the one array for example either if if you are going to search the flight if you are going to select any of the value from the drop down and there is more than 5 to 6 uh, array value is coming and what the objective is there we need to pick any of the random value out of those uh, drop down list so how can we 
solve that uh, problem so what is the solution for that first of all if suppose there is a one c flight function and if suppose there is a c flight and for c slide we are getting 4 to 5 value okay so whenever we are going to use the concept ordinal equal to all then it will give to us the all five value but the objective is we need to pick any of one randomly so what we did to pick the random value we are using the function is lr underscore param array underscore random so what we did first of all we capture the c flight and using that lr random function we are going to pass that uh, random value so because that is a string so again we need to do the conversion for the conversion we are using the evaluate string and that we are going to copy and run over the flight value okay so that the way we can use and we can pass our random value in our the further next request okay so that is my second scenario now comes on the third scenario so what is the third scenario like if suppose you have the address you have the flight details how can you split that thing so for the splitting there we are using the concept as a token so for token there is a one function is known as str tok that is a function which we are going to use for splitting our string okay so what we are going to do first of all we declare our one string which length is uh, 100 then we are just taking as a token and we declare the one integer value i is equal to 1 and whenever you are going to extract the c flight number so there is a flight number might be go as 0 2 2 2 something so uh, for example that is a flight value is coming okay so the flight value came in that way and we need to extract only the 338 so for that we are using here the function known as string token strtok okay so those are the three common challenges was there which we are facing on our scripting side the remaining two challenges we will discuss on uh, our uh, for the next part two video so if anyone have any doubt please comment on the comment box and that is please share that video to your friends and colleagues and if anyone missed the subscription please subscribe the channel okay thank you so much thanks to all